Good morning, class. Welcome back to my home studio. Hopefully you have just watched Mrs. No back in our classroom talking about a review of the first six spelling words we have this week. So now I'm going to dictate to you three sentences using three of those spelling words. And then at the end, I'd like you to take the three words that I didn't use and make your own sentences. Okay, so let's review what makes a complete sentence. You may remember the picture of the hand I drew with the five elements of a complete sentence. First one is good, capitalization. Every sentence starts with a capital letter. Second one, it may, has to make sense, doesn't it? And if you write down all the words that I dictate, your sentence will make sense, okay? Number three, punctuation, good punctuation and we know three different punctuation marks don't we do you remember what they are good period exclamation mark and a question mark good all right punctuation and then every sentence has a subject and every sentence has a predicate again with these last two if you write down all the words that i dictate your sentence will have a subject and a predicate or a verb Okay, good. All right, now let's get started. We're sitting up nice and tall. Our shoulders are stacked over our hips. That's what we call stack our blocks. We've identified the place on our paper where we're gonna write. We're sitting comfortably close to the desk. For some people, that's about three fingers. Doesn't matter what your comfortable position is, as long as you're sitting comfortably close to the the table or desk that you're writing on. And you're taking your pencil and you're holding it down by where the paint meets, the ends, where the paint of the pencil ends, okay? And this is the proper position for writing, okay? Good, let's get started, you ready? Now, after I dictate the sentence, I'd like you to pause the video so you have plenty of time to write your sentence, okay? We're gonna get started right now. First one. Would you please close the door again? Would you please close the door? Pause the video so you have plenty of time to write it. Welcome back. Here's our sentence. Would you please close the door? My sentence has a capital letter. It makes sense. It has punctuation at the end. Does your sentence have all those things and all the words? If not, don't erase, just start again and have your sentence look like my sentence. Okay, good. Now for the next one. Sentence number two. My class likes popcorn parties. M again, my class likes popcorn parties. Now I can hear you in the background saying you don't know how to spell popcorn, but it's spelled exactly the way it sounds. Popcorn. Okay. Pause the video. Give it your best shot. Sound out popcorn and let's see how it comes out. Good, welcome back. Here's the sentence. My class likes popcorn parties. How'd you do on the word popcorn? Good, if you didn't do okay, it's all right. Just do it again. We have lots of time, all right? I have a capital letter. I have punctuation at the end and it makes sense. Good, third sentence. Ben is playing close to the pond. Ben is playing close to the pond. Now, Ben is spelled just the way it sounds. B -N. Ben is playing close to the pond. Stop the video. Give yourself plenty of time to finish writing your sentence. 
Welcome back. Ben is playing close to the pond. Capital letter, punctuation, and our two spelling words that are spelled exactly alike. Close and close. Now you do not have to do the markings on our spelling word if, it, if you don't need to. It's just if it needs you to help to remember how to spell it, then you can use the markings. Okay? Good. Those are my three sentences. Now I want you to write three sentences of your own using the three words that weren't in this, these, this dictated sentences. Party, partied, and open. Okay, those are the three that are missing. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.